G'day, welcome to the Backpack. Back. My name's Shane McKenna, and to my left this week in order of the man on the panel, who's most likely to be found playing around with something that he shouldn't be playing with. Oh, naughty, naughty. <laughs> it's my little brother, J.O.H. Boy. Yes, that's me, and that's the first story I'll be bringing to the table today. Well, you got, you, well I want to know what he was playing <laughs> with. You got caught playing with it again. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. It was it was some tourists. Ooh. Some tourists are playing with it. <laughs> yeah, yep. with yours or theirs. And to my right, coming in a six foot one as he does each and every week is the baby brother of the pack. Who we call Junior Boy. Junior Boy, how are you, mate? Good, good. Not playing with anything I shouldn't be. Standard practice from this end. <laughs> no, I see. There you go. We had a big week on the pod this week, boys. Joe, you're gonna kick things off. With a funny little story. We've also got another funny story from Riley, which is exciting. I'm bringing a funny story as well. Plus, I think you've got another funny story. And then you've got a hero. Yep. Lots of funny stories. Let's get into it. Boys, boys, boys! Hey, bingos. How are we all? Are we all well? Fantastic. Very informative start to this week's episode of the pod. People often ask us, Joey, what do you write on your little notepad? Yeah, so what is on know, the notepad? So that you know what's going on. And the, the answer is, when I'm oh, able no. to read it, I'll let you know. I can't <laughs> read my own handwriting. So I just looked down then and went, fuck, that's just a mess. So... We, we got a bunch of funny stories. We play on. Playing um, around with top. what you shouldn't is the first thing I've got written down. Yeah. Oh, interesting, interesting. That's as, that's as detailed as we get. Yes, and it was a tale of two tourists that I saw. I was up in Kings Park a couple of weeks ago. KP. What made you think that these people were tourists? Oh, it's just the most touristy spot around. I mm, assume everyone there is basically a tourist. Me and my mate, we were there. Um, were you we Huh? Were you guys tourists? No, we looked like it going because we had our, uh, we were doing, we we both been getting into film photography. <laughs> so we were walking around with these uh, big cameras around our neck. Oh, so right. we looked more tourist than anyone else there. But yeah, I've lived here my whole life. <laughs> and, and we were down, yep, yep. And gone. the big, <laughs> he was a male. Male bloke? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Nice. You could so detach true. any sort of... <laughs> was it one of the cameras? <laughs> ideas that, to that, <laughs> One of you? the cameras that you put a big black cloak over, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. over your head? As no, you no, no, not that. No, that was what they did on the... On the <laughs> That's what we did, yeah. We dropped the towel. Spot. <laughs> they dropped the towel down and then there was a bit of under head the, under the blankets under sort the of bench. action going on. Uh, yeah. But yeah, obviously King's, <laughs> King's Park. It's a great scenery. Didn't even like stop to deny. Because we caught him in the air. Yeah. Um, we'll see when the photos get developed. Um, <laughs> so it's got got great scenery, great plans. But one thing, as a local, I kind of forget. There's obviously the war memorial section. Yeah. And you know, we went there at school or whatever. But I'm not, you know, <laughs> heading up to the old <laughs> war memorial to see what's changed because nothing has. But we we're up in the war <laughs> memorial section, and this is where I noticed some people not giving it the reverence that I think it deserves. Oh right. Because there's a war memorial in Fremantle. Yep, yep. And yeah, the one, is on the there big one hill. in Kings Park. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I haven't been to Kings Park anywhere as frequently as I think you would assume someone who is twenty-seven year old, years old, and living in Perth would have. It's. I gotta say, it's it's the spot to be. The prime minister was there today with the Chinese premier, the our prime minister. Yeah, Al- Elbow. 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 Yeah. Elbow <laughs> Grace <laughs> was with the Chinese Premier League. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Goodness they were up there hanging out. They were they Did were taking. They had their film photography. Were you were there? <laughs> you weren't there today. I there. No, I wasn't there today. Couldn't make it. Such Could a weird place to take that's someone. That's because you are second IC to the to IC <laughs> to the program, and they had their big meeting where I had my Christmas party for one of my work dues. How about that? At the <laughs> memorial. <laughs> Not at the memorial. At <laughs> some one of the restaurants or something. Um, so I'm at the memorial, right? and we're walking around because I'm like, I actually have video. Much and this guy who I was with has <laughs> actually he had never been there, so he kind of was a tourist. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but we try and get into there's like this bit where it's got all the names of all the people who died in the war from yeah. WA or whatever. Yeah. So we're like, oh, we'll go in there and you know have a look around. Yeah. And there were some guys out the front, like pretty like ladsy kind of dudes. Mm. I'm not exactly sure where they're from. Wow. But I have a guess. <laughs> 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 uh, they looked like oh, they yeah. could have been wow. we go. like Three, Greece, <laughs> Greece area around oh. there, like what Greece, are you basing European S. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. What are you basing? And that? they would take just the way they looked. Okay. okay. That's how They're you do it. That's how you do it. You see someone and you super think lucky's European. Yeah, you're know, from Europe, I guess. And then, so there, we're trying to get into the war memorial bit, and those <laughs> guys are, you know, taking some touristy photos. Mm. But the guy stood in front of the names, and then he just did two fingers on like this. Oh, got wow. a snap. 
Oh, well, that's... I didn't think was... He well, was pacing it. Oh, you meant it. I don't think you meant to take photos in front of it. The woman. He was like inside the. It's not like a, there's other people <laughs> buried there. It's not a crypt. <laughs> but he was. It would be. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't go to. But I was like, maybe they don't that. know that it's like. These and it's not like an icon. I mean, I live here and I've never even fucking. Yeah, seen I, I can't even imagine where we are. It's the massive, big, tall thing that you see when you're driving down the freeway. Yeah, it's the like city. near that. I oh, know, I know. It's like lit up at night. Yeah, I know where it is, but I don't know where Joe's talking about. Like this memorial it's like underneath aspect. that bit. Yeah, no idea where that is. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, so I it's remember like you're not even going to be getting mad likes no, for the photo. No one knows where it is. Wow. But the thing that inspired this, the what is it, playing with things you shouldn't have been. Yeah. It's because I went over, I want to show um, my buddy where, you know, there's a bit where you can sit on either side and you can talk to each other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was actually fenced off because they were doing some gardening. So I couldn't <laughs> see that. <laughs> but then we're looking at the eternal flame and I was just playing like, oh, that's the eternal flame. And he's like, what does that mean? Like, it's just a flame that never goes out. That's, and that's news to me as well. I wouldn't have known. The eternal flame. But it rained today. No, but it's just pumping in gas. It's just always there. So Although, even rain can't stop it. Like, Sure. I don't know, actually. Because <laughs> no one's ever been at King's Park <laughs> yeah, well, when it's, it's raining. No there's no coverage. We should do a stakeout over the winter. We should. Yeah. Because there I, was th- I honestly have... I reckon I could count the amount of times I've been there on one hand. Really? I genuinely have no idea, like, what you're talking King, about. You don't know the King's Park is No, I know, I know where the King's Park is oh, as chill. a concept, but I don't know, like... So you you're talking very specifically. It's the equivalent it's the of like going. Bit. It's the equivalent of going like I know what RSC Arena is, but I don't know where <laughs> C. I don't know where Section Three Hundred One is. <laughs> not that's where we were the other weekend. Yeah, so there was some obviously the Eternal Flame. It was getting a lot of picks from the tourists. We took some picks. Had your mate ever been there before? Uh, no, he's from New South Wales, so actually he was kind of enjoying it. Okay, so, you know, and I was giving him the oh, this is the flame. It never goes out or whatever. You know, <laughs> the <laughs> the company line. <laughs> We tell everyone the flame is magic. <laughs> <laughs> but then there were some kids. Obviously, it's like the flame is inside a fountain. The goblet of Which fire. Which is also <laughs> not a great place to put the flame. The flame's in a fountain. It's in the, no, there's like a fountain around Can't it. go out because it's been on. Defying <laughs> flameless. Elementals. Yeah. Flammables. And then also there are all these coins in the fountain. But Is it a wishing well? I didn't think it was a wishing well. <laughs> I think these tourists are just doing whatever the hell they want. Hello? <laughs> this is a magic fountain. It's a magic flame. Oh Goblet of fire. But then there were some kids who, <laughs> I mean, they could have been locals. I don't know. I was just assuming everyone at Kings Park is a tourist. Oh, wow. Uh, but these kids were playing around with the flame. Oh. What does that mean? Pretending well, they, were pretending flicking off. Wa- they were flicking water on Yeah, oh. that's what I'd be doing. I'd <laughs> rather be doing that, or I don't know what this flame looks like, or I'd be doing a bend over where it looks like <laughs> I'm <laughs> pushing <laughs> the eternal fart out. <laughs> Yeah, but these kids were, they were flicking water <laughs> on the flame. And at first I was like, <laughs> at first I was like, stop. Uh, <laughs> I was yelling, hey. <laughs> uh, no, at first I was like, oh, that's chump change. It's, the water's not going to do anything. It's the eternal flame. Joe's the sort of person that would have told his mate to go in and fish out the coins for him. <laughs> Just put them in this big sack. Yeah, I mean, a dollar's a dollar. Um, and these kids, they were flicking the flame. And I was like, this flame is eternal. A little splasher of a kid is going to mess it around. But then for a second, the flame was out. Oh, so it's not as internal. Yeah, but it was it called? Not internal. It kept going. External. What's it called? Eternal. 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 It's forever. Eternal. Doesn't that mean it's in you? Oh, that's internal. <laughs> eternal. Yeah. Eternal. Eternal. eternal means right. forever. But yes, these kids were messing around with the flame and I didn't like it one bit. So you know what I did? Kick him. No, drown him. You drowned him in the thing. I did nothing. I you just put their head in the I wanted to flame. see if the f- a flame went out and it didn't. To this day, the flame goes strong. Let's go. <laughs> That's it. That's Winners our flame. Winners win. Winners flame, win. Flame. <laughs> it's only up for Flame you. on. <laughs> Boys, I've got an issue. Hit us with it. I've Ooh. got an issue. It's yes. cool. Word. Issue. <laughs> issue. Issue. So you got a whistle. When What's we the other one? What about arcs? I think we've mentioned this before. Arcs. How come America, like Charles Barkley is so big on saying arcs? Arcs. Let me ask. Let me ask you something. I ask. Why don't they say that Arx. right? I don't know. They're all. S- uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're all ask. Finish They're it. All Fini- no, no, no. no. <laughs> Finish <laughs> it. Finish it. Say it. You've got an issue with tourists. <laughs> Bloody let them know. Finish it. What would you do? They're all stupid. Oh, Charles Barkley. No, just Americans. Oh. I think that's not even that. You double down. So that's, that's you've big. gone from a hater <laughs> pool of one to oh. a couple of Bill. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> that no, we love Americans on the show. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. love we love them. Joe, 
I'm 50 50. He's coming around <laughs> to him, though, which is chill. Yeah, that Donald guy, he's funny. <laughs> yeah, Donald Faye's one. Um, <laughs> we were. We, we, we pulled up in Sydney the other day. We did. And us being little cheeky buggers, we booked the room for two. A room for two? Is I want one room for two, please, we said. As we giggled down the hall, <laughs> three of us walking in, two bags. Does it even make it cheaper? It does. Yeah. How does that work? Why are they charging... Because they would give more you another people. bed, wouldn't they? I don't know. No, but no, you, you get wouldn't. the same room. No, nah, because we always get the bigger bed set up. We get we get enough beds for three people. Technically, we had one <laughs> in the <laughs> first yeah. room. In the second room, they were both pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, I was good. Oh, yeah, because you had it solo. Anyway, uh, so we walked in. Me and Riley were spooning. Yeah, we spooned. Yeah, on the floor. We come back really close. On the floor. <laughs> on the floor, yeah, on the bathroom floor. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the bath. <laughs> yeah, we left it running. One bathroom, please. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we 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 did a snazzy. We did a we did a cheeky boy. We ordered a room for two. Yeah, but there was three of us. Yeah. Well, times are tough. If you if you <laughs> yeah, haven't passed, we, even, we did two bags for the three of us. You gotta so buy a cab. Yeah, buy, someone buy a cab <laughs> so we can afford an extra spot. <laughs> someone buy a fucking cab. Anyway, so then I was out on the curb waiting for you guys to. Sneak <laughs> yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Right. We oh, that's it. right. There was a lot of like incognito mode stuff going. Yeah, on. We had like, and then I just have two <laughs> backpacks. <'cause> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like a, then, one's with the bomb, and the other one's got all yeah. your luggage. And in. And then it. you guys go up the stairs. Lift. And then wait five minutes, and then come down, and then come grab me, and we all walk past the concierge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. go back we'll up just together. Just up on the room for two. <laughs> but but I walk. But they it. don't care. There's they could not give people living in there. But I walk it. Yeah, it's also weird. Like, what is the rules of like letting other people into your room? Can you have like guests come into your room? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, I think it was like, but they can't stay. Yeah, but it's, oh wait, stuff just. happens in hotels. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I walked in late and I was excited to see the room, you know. I, I always got the second reveal. I was the last man <laughs> yeah, standing, yeah. right? And I walked in and Jake was kicking back on the couch. Me and Joey also obviously walked in t- together and walked into the lounge room, turned around. And I was like, this is a pretty sweet gig we got going <laughs> on here. And I noticed <laughs> something that you two boys hadn't. I spun around to look at the bathroom area and there was a see-through window. There was. Into yes. the shower. Cheeky see through Into the shower and the shitter. <laughs> Which is an interesting creative move. <laughs> it is a bit. Oh, it's it's nice architecturally. To nice to look out, not as nice to look in. Yeah, because I guess like if you are booking a room, you assume that everyone's close enough <laughs> that there's no barriers. <laughs> but then like also don't assume such things. Yeah. Yeah. And even like even if you're like a couple or whatever. This dude is like taking it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing it. Po isn't ideal, and it became apparent to us that this was Jake's master plan. Yep, yep. <laughs> it was oh. in the booking. <laughs> yeah, this was a Jake special w- request. Yeah. <laughs> Bash the glass out, please. <laughs> but Jake was the guy who did all the booking. <laughs> oh, <it was. laughs> yeah. And surely it was listed on the website. It definitely like, was not yeah. listed on the privacy. Website. Out the window, yeah, there's like a toilet window, a glory hole. What do you want? <laughs> yeah. yeah, all no, the options. Obviously, it wasn't made mention to like this because it was basically for those playing along. Here we go. It was like a lounge room setup, and yeah. then immediately there was a wall which was our bathroom, but the wall had a big area yeah. in it. There was a window, yeah, so you could see into and also the showers. There was like there a dual shower it was setup. A, it was, it was, a, was up with that. What are they called? It was like they wanted us it's in like there at the prison. same time. <laughs> <laughs> like I've never been in a shower. Imagine, imagine. Okay, imagine you had you, a soap glued to the floor. Imagine, <laughs> <laughs> imagine you. Imagine walking into your own shower, right? Everyone listening at home, imagine walking into your own. Close shower. Close your eyes, even if you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you're driving, because you won't be able to imagine it if you got your eyes open. Yeah. Especially doing 80 k's. Don't worry about Don't the tooting worry. noise. There are those cool sounds at the moment. So you're in the shower. Imagine you walk yourself into the shower, right? Am I naked? Yep. And no. my eyes are closed. <laughs> and then now I want you to do. Where's the glory hole? Is do a quick 180. Ooh. So now the water's Ooh. coming out. I slipped. <laughs> <laughs> Help. The water's coming out from behind you and in front of you. I found the glory hole. <laughs> behind, <laughs> behind you, there's also a shower. That's basically the setup that we're working with. There was a shower on either side. It was all like an open setup. I believe yeah, it's called. It was all open plan. <laughs> open plan bathroom. <laughs> open plan living. Open plan shitting. I believe it's called a his and her shower. 
Is that what they're called? Which is obviously, it's got to be the romantic option of the book exists. Isn't it fucking weird? Not every room would have <laughs> <and> ass. <laughs> <laughs> You've clearly clicked the his and ass. <laughs> I don't think I did. There must have been a Barjane on at the time. So it was, weird. I don't know, all I saw <laughs> was McCure. Orgy sweets <laughs> And I was like Yeah man I, That sounds good orgy. I love Yeah we're all about orgy <laughs> All about organisation We need to be super yeah. We need to be <laughs> so It's a company trip We need to be the so The whole org is going to be The whole <laughs> org chart is going to be We there. need to be so org for this Like we need to be so organised it was like, yeah, well, if you like being <laughs> organized. And I was like, shit, yeah. <laughs> and then they were like, all right, well, you can take the orgy suite. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Anyway, but then we were all a bit like, well, this is going to be We awkward. were all pretty excited and, about and it. And I suggested the idea, well, we've got... Why don't ta- we just shower together? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got the... I mean, towels are... In hotels, they're a luxury. You get so many of them. Like, you can just... You keep calling on towels whenever you want. Yeah, yeah. Need a that means the opposite. Yeah, that means the opposite. Of that uh, they're not a luxury, but you could be like, "Can I have twenty <laughs> towers? Can I have twenty towers sent to my room?" And they'll be like, "Yeah, they'll yeah, be why? there in five, right?" They don't even ask questions. So I suggested, I was like, "Why don't we? <laughs> why do so many people get murdered up there? <laughs> why don't we wrap a towel around the window?" And Jake insisted, <laughs> "Don't be silly. <laughs> now get over here <laughs> why did we pay and wash my willow. <laughs> Let's have this orgy." <laughs> 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 Let's argue this orgy. <laughs> but then Is there more to this story or we Well there was magic so involved. <laughs> oh, and that's I'm not right. talking about the bloody <laughs> orgy. The eternal right. flame <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is what this was the coolest part. We all kind of ex- ex- examined the room and we walked in and I bloody flicked the light on. Yes. And there was magic. Boy, <laughs> the window. This cl- see through window. Like see through was your car windscreen. Yeah. <laughs> Went frosted and you couldn't see through it anymore. Like yeah, your car windscreen in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> like full on, like you couldn't see anything. You flick it on, boom. Frost. How do they do that? Yeah, I think it was just a dual panel. I think it was just a double glazing. And then they ran a, like a thing up the guts. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how they did it, to be honest. You're the physics guy. I thought you might know. I is don't it, know. Is is it, it a chemical reaction or is there like a no, I I think no TV idea. screen in no, there? I don't think they've <laughs> got, got the world's TV. thinnest LED in there. <laughs> yeah, there's two, there's two webcams on either side. Yeah. Not a real window. No, I think they just run glass on either side and then in between it's just like that frosty element. But then how does it turn on when it's... The same way as the light turns on when but you But it didn't switch. drop down. No. It was just so Where is it coming from? And it wasn't like it faded know. from left to right or up to down. It was like, it's on, it's frosted. It was peculiar, that's for sure. It was bloody crazy. It was sick. I loved it. But then it begs the question, <laughs> why the window? <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to... Because you're not showering in the dark. Yeah, exactly. I thought about it because I wanted to be able to look out. Yeah, see, I thought if you be- showered in the dark, then you could look out. But then you're showering in the dark, which is dangerous. Well, it depends what you're doing in there. But I always came to like watch the footy through there, through the little pane, have a beer, have a shower, an, hour, an eight-hour shower. <laughs> Well, Joe sat on the toilet and I looked at <laughs> yeah. the TV room. <laughs> there you go. No, it was cool. Yeah. It was a cool invention. Full stars, eh? <laughs> How many stars did we give it? <laughs> I don't think we gave <laughs> it. I don't think we were in charge of that. <laughs> 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 give it stars. I liked it. it was How many nice would you star. give it? The second place was <laughs> horrendous. The second. <laughs> <laughs> Good buddy. I couldn't see anyone. We got a, we got a AAA room. The Wait, second room was like accessible. Their bathroom <laughs> just had a their t- the shower just had a. And the door, I've been to <laughs> Macca's bathroom. Bath. Didn't even have a lock. I've been to the Macca's bathroom was just a sliding yeah, door. Yeah, but you asked for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted the unlock one. No, the second bathroom was like disabled. Yeah, disabled. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's that where you're coming, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, boys, very exciting. It's f- the first time. It's only the second time we've ever done this. It's the first time in a hot minute. But we, we enjoyed it the last time we did it, so we're bringing it yes. back. It's a segment that I run after my latest environmental living arrangements changed. It's called... Who lives with a lady? 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 Oh, Joe. It's a quickie. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's muted us for no <laughs> reason. It's like 30 seconds of outro. Time left. It's outro. It's outro. This is the one that you cut up. Yeah, it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one is called 
dude lives with a lady. Um, recently, I have moved in with the lady that used to wash my clothes. She decided <laughs> that she bought... What she was going to do is she's going to bring the washing machine up and then she decided never to leave. So she's now living with me, which is rather exciting. That's yeah, huge. Mainly for her, not necessarily for me. Clutch. Um, and as I mentioned last time we played this, as a result, I'm going to bring you a few things that I've learned over the journey of living with a lady. Yes, fantastic. Hit us. The first one was the bed was slightly higher. Yes. I've seen this bed. We've both seen the bed yeah. since. Not not worth bringing to the vibe. Definitely it, higher. It didn't blow me away. I was what? expecting yeah. what great heights. Yeah, I, I've seen... <laughs> I work in a bloody furniture store. I've seen some high beds. Yeah, but you work in a furniture... Yeah, okay. That wasn't a high It was bed. pretty high. It's pretty high. It's very high. Oh, and I, yeah, but when I, I was expecting to walk in and be like, whoa. <laughs> That's a high. Ladder. <laughs> There's a ladder in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, it's a bed. <laughs> then I was like... Wait, didn't you have like an issue with the bed or something? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely high. Yeah. You're just a could, bit of a short game. Could be a user issue. <laughs> <laughs> issue. A user issue. Well, this week we are talking about... Is it another height thing? <laughs> <laughs> flowers. Ooh. Now, you guys have been... Self-raising. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been to my place over the journey for the last, what, two years. How many plants have I ever owned? None, no, because they. Oh, is there any in the front yard? Yeah, there's like a little that bush bushel area, but I mean internal plantage. Oh, okay. None. Inside. None, yeah. because they cause little bloody critters and <laughs> like huh? um, bugs to oh. fly around in the house. Do they? Yeah. Do they cause that? Yeah. Yeah. They man. live in yeah, there, they bro. <laughs> They love it, bro. It's their food, man. <laughs> well, what I want to bring to the table is that I've never owned flowers, never been never purchased flower. flowers. I don't really understand the concept of flowers. Taylor has, firstly, she's moved in with me, which was a big moment in and of itself. Yep, yep. We had our anniversary probably a month and a bit ago. Fantastic. So, I, so I got her flowers. Now, previously, Six months. whenever I've gotten <laughs> her flowers, they have then lived at her respective yep, yep. house. You buy them and then not your problem. <laughs> yeah, but these ones were very much my problem. And then, excitingly... For her, she has started a brand new job not that long ago, right? Yep. Nice. And as a result, a lot of congratulatories. Ladies give each other lady flowers to congratulate each other. So, so since nice, she hey. has moved in, we have had flowers. Flowers galore. Basically every day. Flowers are weird. Now, that's the point for mine. The fl- flowers aren't cheap, firstly. No, no, they're not. Secondly, they don't last very long. No. If I'm investing, let's say, $60 for flowers. Yep. They're good for a, f- a week. Yeah, but sixty dollars is like four days and premium the, flowers. Four you days and they're starting to die. Cheapies that I try to. <laughs> what did you say? Four days and they're starting to die. Yeah, you got. They're not. They're not. Unless you cut them at a bloody angle. Yeah, you, you got to cut them at an angle. You got to cut them in the water. Yeah. See, it's just too much. And then the nutrients bag is very important. Uh, yeah, you got to put a bit of salt in there. So I don't think we're doing any of that. Well, I'm definitely not doing any of that. <laughs> they in water at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four days, well. Wow. These people, nah, they must be getting... The ones that I got was lasted a bit longer. Yeah. Oh. There was another, the there, there was another bunch of flowers that weren't even flowers that someone else sent and there was just like a fucking... It was like a bush. You know how you can yeah. get like... You know how you can get like flowers that it's just like... I don't know. The <laughs> shit that you'd find out the front. Like to me, it looked like weeds and shrubs. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Probably not. <laughs> some flowers are really nice, but some are just like... But they don't also crap. like... Crap. They also don't smell. I feel like they used to smell. Hot take. But now they're just like <laughs> flowers. Bad. Yeah, no, you Do have to really smell. like go up to them and be like, and then kind of smells like plant. Yeah, I smell it. and I'm like, hmm, flower smell, petal smell. Yes. There's nothing crazy. About what about this. so just flowers? What about um pot plants? Any of them going around? No, 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 no. Not fucking with that shit. Cacti. No, I've made a mind. He's big on like. Trees and bushes and yeah. plants inside hydroponics. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's just a no for me. It's just it's very messy. Yeah, 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 hundred yeah, percent. Like, where do you draw the line between having soil on your carpet yeah. versus soil on the couch? Like, it's it's too close. A yeah, I'm not a fan. Yeah, it's I kind of agree. Like setup. A garden is cool. Garden's cool. I'm a big fan. I would love to redo the backyard and do like a little veggie setup. Do some like um. Strawberries. Yeah, hydroponics. <laughs> Big hydroponics out of the base. It's just hydroponic, hydrochloric acid. Is that what you're talking No, hydroponics. Oh, Do you know what hydroponics are? Hydroponic missile. <laughs> <laughs> hydroponics. Sam Fender missile. songs. <laughs> um, 
Oh, but the fun. flowers, we don't. I don't like them because they get allergies. Oh, I no, like no. Yeah, I just feel like it's. And then where would you put flowers? That's another in one. a vase. Table, and then yeah. in the bed. <laughs> vase, and then it's on like Beard. the it's on the dining table. dining table. Or oh, yeah, on like a counter. And I work corner. from home, so I'm seeing the flowers more than she's seeing. Do the they flowers. not brighten up your day a bit? No, man, they're just in the way. At <laughs> one point, we had three sets on the table, and I was like. Fuck me. We need more vase. We need more tables. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get rid of the dining. We need a table <laughs> specifically for table. <laughs> flowers at this point in time. Yeah. So my question is, what what are our thoughts on flowers? You're the only person, you're the only male that I've ever seen someone buy flowers for. You get flowers as a gift I've seen in the past. Yeah, Kira right? will get me flowers. What's that about? It's just a nice thing to do. Do you want flowers? I have Sometimes. never gone to the shop. I like and seeing gone, them. I'm going, Joe, all right, for Christmas this year, we're going to get him a bunch of flowers. I like seeing them. It brightens up the place a bit. A bit of nature. Open the window if you want it brighter. Uh, also, the whole thing of the plants inside, people are like, yeah, we need more oxygen inside. Bro, I don't think that's open a window or a door. Yeah, pla- plants is interesting. I feel like having a few is like, oh yeah, there it is. But then people <laughs> go crazy. They go crazy with the plants. Yeah. Just keep them outside. They don't want to be inside. Flowers, I don't know. I don't know. It's just a no for me. Living in the new arrangement. It, they're fine. They're nice. But I don't think we want to make a habit of it. I think I they're good for... Expensive. Yeah. If you had to pick... Whoever's a, selling... We should start selling, selling flowers. flowers. and growing them. Yeah. yeah. That's probably the first step. Yeah. how much would they cost to grow? Nothing. Nothing. Because the sun free. does it all. And water. Yeah. And then... And then they just bag them up. sell it for 60 bucks. Bag the them up. There's, like, a, there's a guy who does it real close to me. He just sets it up in his van. Every day he's there with so many flowers. Yeah, near my work, there are these vans, the side yeah. of the road vans. Yeah. It's a dodgy van. Yeah. And like, who's their market? People, is it people driving home who've yeah. forgotten their anniversary? Yeah, That's stuff them. like that. Like, I've, I haven't forgotten, but I've planned to go there on my way home because I'm like, that dude's always there. He's got the van. So I often go to the van, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Hey? We, we used to have a mate who was a flower delivery guy. We did. He He's would take the van to the people. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Bring the flowers to you. And would he be, used to do them on, it would be like a romantic thing. And he would be like, oh, this is like a note that I have to read. Then he have to, used to read it out. Pretty sure, yeah. Could he yeah, read yeah. pretty proficiently? Because <laughs> he wouldn't want to be stumbling. It's also, he wasn't the most romantic kind of guy to be <laughs> working up <laughs> at your yeah. doorstep. <laughs> like What's cruisy gear. To mean? But like, you know, if, if Lila's at home and... She, Jeremy, ten year wedding anniversary. And Jeremy's bought her their ten year anniversary flower. And your mate rocks <laughs> up. <laughs> My mate rocks up with a mullet. Le- Leela is music and, yeah. and a pair of thongs, still running. cargo shorts, and a singlet. <laughs> yeah, sweating profusely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's <laughs> like, all right, dog, here we go. Ready for this? Listen. Jezza says, love ya. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know, I lost it. <laughs> Excitingly, Joey Boy has decided (laughs) that today is going to be the day that he brings to the panel. Hey, yo, what the fuck? A life hack. (laughs) Joey Boy! Life hack is back from its (laughs) two year hiatus. (laughs) Joey, is that the hell? The people have been. You always, you probably, guys, you've probably seen it in the comments. Live. Backpack life hack, bring it back. Bring, bring it back. back. Bring, bring back. back the hack, boys. There's so many comments. We don't know how to live <laughs> without these life hacks. There's been so many comments. <laughs> 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 that was on my burner. But yeah, actually, burner accounts. Is that the life hack? has to do with the life hack. Oh, oh how exciting. So, uh-uh. who here has <laughs> signed up? How to date three different women. <laughs> <at home. laughs> yes. So, first, you need to own three phones. How to run a <laughs> cartel. That's the... That's the uh, the Zaddy Hube technique. Joey's got an interesting look about him tonight, hasn't he? It's good. He's like it. yeah. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> the beach black look. I like. And then he's wearing, wearing, a, bl- I'm wearing a black shirt. That's literally what you're wearing. Yeah, yeah, I know. But Joey's got a flat top. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he look like Aman Shumpet? Well, his hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could get that much volume. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could get that much. Scalp. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Low blow. Whoa. Well, he started it. Think of my hair. <laughs> Life hack. Yeah, Stop being a cunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to who? To who? Me or Jake? <laughs> to Jake and the Americans. Yeah, yeah the Americans. Yeah, and people who us. like flowers. Come on, boys. Lift. <laughs> now I'm insecure on <laughs> my hair. No one watches the YouTube this week. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks good. I like it. Uh, yeah. You're watching the YouTube turn off. Depends which angle you get. The amount well. of volume and lack of style. It's just hair. It's like Afro. I've never seen a white no, person with an Afro like this. I, 
<laughs> usually I push it back. Right? No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. No, usually I push it back, but then I live with you. Guys. I'm on the pod. <laughs> oh, so also I was thinking about this earlier. No one knows I wear glasses. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I wear glasses all, every every week, except all the, the time, except for two hours or three hours. Podcasts are gone. And when you drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I drive. <laughs> when you try and work. <laughs> no, podcasts are gone and doing the radio because so of, of the headphones. No wonder he never gets recognised. He goes out incognito. <laughs> he puts, oh. his, thing on, like, he puts his funny little moustache on. <laughs> like Clark Kent. Yeah, what would you call me? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say that. Word. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, the hair looks good, Joe. It looks very African. Flat top slight operation. Yeah, right. Oh. I showed the lady the picture and it just didn't work out. <laughs> no, it's cool. I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's a mine shump it. Yeah, you've said that there. No, it's a shump it. Shumpy. It's a mine shump it. It's like, hey, Arnold's buddy. Yeah. yeah That's yeah, what he yeah. looks yeah. like. Yeah. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, live back. Live back. Back, back, live back. So you ever signed up for an account and the account had a free trial? In yeah. those 30 days, you're living like a gig. <laughs> you're rich. You're exploiting the software company. <laughs> yeah, you're downloading everything. For the little you can. bitch that it is. Ooh. <laughs> you're using Netflix. You're watching all the shows. But ding, ding, ding. Month is up. Time's arrow moves forward. You've been charged. <laughs> the for calendar the flicks over. Because you know how it works. You put your card in. Yeah, yeah. they get and your card in early. You once. Fuck. And if you've you got once. enough for them to take it out. They, take they it. can take it out. They, they take will. it once, yeah. Dogs. So then so you think, I need you a just kid. Pay for you it just pay. You just pay. You basically pay. Yeah. For one <laughs> chick I know that this this actually yeah. I'll wait. <laughs> 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 I'll let you tell the story because I know where it's going. The suspense is killing me. So yeah, you've you don't want them taking the cold hard cash. So you could try. You all set a reminder. The day before the yeah, 30th, same. the thirtieth day, and then you and cancel, then cancel, kill yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> cancel, 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 sorry. And the <laughs> reminder goes off, and you're like, "I'll do it tomorrow." <laughs> okay, that oh. clearly didn't resonate with anyone. No, no, I just had this is so strange. I just had the weirdest deja vu about doing this bit on the on the episode. Did it finish better than it <laughs> than it's track? No, it's strange. You don't ever get that strange feel. We did um, do so it. basically, it's the thirtieth day. Yeah you got to cancel, but you might still need to use the service. Or there might be some services that, for example, we use, we need to use when we have a guest, but we don't need to use oh, it all the time. right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yes. Occasionally, we need to pay maybe for the service, but try not to pay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So we only, yeah, for some elements. So when we get like our guests on, for example, yep. we only utilize the service so we can record the screen for that time because there's no point in recording screens. Just for fun. Oh, yeah. We only do it when we need to. That makes sense. Yeah, exactly. But they. Yeah. What happened? They caught on to you. No, no, it's not even them. It's actually a separate part to do with the guest episodes. But. Oh, I led maybe the guest. That's just a weird <laughs> example. <of it. laughs> but they have a free trial. So I sign up for the trial yep. and I cancel. Too easy. Got it for free. Thank nice. you very much. <laughs> Please do <doing> business. <laughs> <laughs> and then. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We've booked another guest. This is great. <laughs> But it's gonna hurt the bank account, guys, because we've already used our trial with that email. Right. Yeah, yeah. And there's only so many emails per family. So yeah, exactly. Like Riley's, mine, Jake's, Jake has two. Which they end. McFire. Oh. <laughs> we don't. We don't drop. We don't drop. That's where we mentioned no, it. Let's no not drop. Guess the provider. That's <laughs> yeah. how you get it. <laughs> not drop. Play um, on. I don't want to get. But I have my email blank blank at gmail dot com. Yeah. So I sign up with that and now cancel. Try and sign up with again. Hey, buddy. You are <laughs> cash if you want to use our good slash service. But there's a little life that you can do where if you do blank, blank, and if this is only with Gmail, blank, blank, and then you do a plus sign and you can write whatever the fuck you want and then add gmail.com. For example, it, we'll what just plus send you, sign? For example, you're just adding it onto email. For, so, for example, I would do blank, blank, um, plus teams meeting. At gmail.com And that's what I use To sign up to Microsoft Teams Which is not what we use Wait, we say use. that again So you're just saying Punch in a fake give me, email Give me the example No, you no, it's a real email So blank, blank Plus, say for example Lemon Yeah Blank, blank Plus lemon At gmail.com Right I sign that up with lemon <laughs> And I'm getting it for free What do you mean You sign up with lemon? So lemon is Let's just say Lemon is the good or service Okay, let's just say You say Netflix Okay, so <laughs> it's on the same yeah. page Very cool so blank blank plus Netflix, Netflix at, at gmail.com. Gmail. 
they still think it's me. Plus Netflix. You said at Netflix. Plus Netflix. Plus Netflix. I think. At gmail.com. They think well, I have this brand new email called Plus Netflix. Yeah. But my blank blank Gmail is going to be getting all that mail. If Now I need to now I cancel and I sign up again. Blank, it's, hey, it's me with my mustache. <laughs> blank blank at blank blank plus Netflix one at gmail.com. Oh, look at this. We've got a brand new email. <laughs> but it's all coming into my blank But how blank does it come into that email? Because Gmail has this thing where it's set up where Gmail will go, okay, any email that has your email and then plus, whatever's plus, we just pretend it's not there, at gmail.com. Exactly. So this can, is huge. So yeah, the re- crazy. One, this is huge. One of the reasons why they brought it in, right? How did you find this out? Huh? Right. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, online. I'm just a... I know there's a lot He's of He's a cool coding th- genius. There's a lot of cool <laughs> things you can do with Google and stuff that people don't really know about. Like okay. this. Because one of the things it's good for, and it's like recommended to do, is say you sign up for like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram... Um, YouTube, all this stuff, right? Yeah. P-O-R-N. And now <laughs> there's a... Or say, like, for example... With P-O-R-N. Like Optus, yeah, <laughs> Pronub or whatever, Riley is spelling, never heard of that. Go on up. <laughs> um, and then there's a big data leak, right? Yeah. And then you can go, okay, let's see if my email was leaked. And it's blank, blank, plus pronub.com. And then you go, that bloody leaked my email. Right. Because it's coming from them because that's what's... That that's email is where it's in. stored, yeah. And huge. So what you're saying, just in theory, just in to summarize, if you want free Netflix, you can utilize, you can keep abusing the free service by literally putting in your normal email, the plus sign, and then basically Anything. whatever you want. Exactly. Yep. And it'll think it's a brand new email. But you'll continue to get the emails. Yep. So which you means, have the account. Which means that you can still verify it if they go, okay, cool. To verify your account, we're going to send you four digits. You can still get the digits, yep. but you're not paying. This is outrageous. <laughs> I love it. It's yep. huge. I get the feeling that once this becomes like common knowledge, we're going to shut it down for good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no more guest episodes. <laughs> but for the time <laughs> yeah. being, I absolutely love it. Joey, well done. Bravo, Thank Joey. Thank you for, for bringing us... Eshe! <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of uh, again. <laughs> the Eshe. The, the Mark corporate, Zuckerberg the of the battle. The corporate yes. Eshe yes. is back with a nice new haircut at that. Good on you, Joey. <laughs> Alrighty, boys, it's time for our favourite weekly segment. It's our only weekly segment. It's time for our Everyday Hero Now I've Heard. Bit of a team effort going on this week. We're going to split points. We're going to tag team. No, no, I'll get all the points. Joey and Junior Boy going to award this week's hero. And basically, you're going to tell me a bit of a tale because I don't believe that I was in... Proximity to this. No, Jake was down on South Street looking for heroes, and we were in Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> we we're on Broadway. When we were on Broadway in Chippy Chippy Town. Chippy Town. <laughs> Chippy How good was it when we got in the car from the airport? <laughs> We've been in Sydney for about a, seven seconds. Yeah, and we just got in the car, and the dude just goes, "Ah, oh, to Chippendale," and I went, <laughs> "It's Sydney, please." <laughs> <laughs> It's like, he's picked us up from the airport. <laughs> was, oh, Jimmy Dowd boys? I was like, where the fuck is know. that, man? Now, I thought he was taking us out of the country. It sounds like a chip, anything with Dale on it. Yeah, I Dale's thought we were, gonna, we're moving into a farmhouse. Yeah. And it's like, we're in a barn, boys. Whatever the fucking address I put in. I just gave you the code. They've also got codes. It's yeah. like when we were in... We're going to, when we're going to a hotel, we're going to the McCure Hotel. Just go with that. Don't tell us it's in Chippendale. Yeah. It's fucking God knows. It's like when we were in the Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel studio. Nice name like, drop. Bro. Nice name drop. We're going to do this every week or yeah, what? I reckon. Yeah. And they were like, where are you boys staying? And I was like, on Broadway Street. <laughs> Which isn't even... That's yeah, but even. they were like, they laughed like, because yeah. Broadway, apparently it's like a, the staple over there. I think it's like a long street. Yeah, yeah. It's like the one that runs through the... Broadway. I guess it's like, you know, the Esplanade? In Freer. Yeah, I guess Freya's. <laughs> it's like South yeah. Street. It's yeah. like if I went, you're living on South, South Street. If you yeah. were like, oh, South Street Avenue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, no, but in. why do they it's name it Broadway? Broadway. <laughs> like Broadway, full stop. It's because... No street, no avenue, no nothing. It's a bloody Broadway. When people w- moved here, they were like, let's name the street the school stuff. So people think it's cool. Broadway. Broadway. But isn't that in America? Who knows? Who's the hero? <laughs> I think Riley started it. All right, so we were in the hotel room one night and we all got a bit hungry. And lucky enough, KFC was right below our hotel room. Correct. So yeah. we thought, boys, let's go get down and zing on. <laughs> <laughs> and um, 
went down and they've got this sick deal on the app which is <laughs> two <laughs> sliders two <laughs> supercharger <laughs> sliders <laughs> and one small chips wow. cha-ching, cha-ching. for like seven for the bucks. low low price of seven <laughs> <laughs> for seven bucks right and i was like Phew, that sounds pretty good right Two sliders. If you don't know what a slider is, it's bit of bread, bit of lettuce. <laughs> oh my god! Supercharger. <laughs> if they don't know, <laughs> cost per minute. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Supercharger sauce and a chicken tender, right? And then I go down and we order it. And who got it with me? Was it you? I came down with you originally. I didn't. I decided I was going to get the snack pack. And the snack pack involves getting chips. Uh, popcorn chicken oh, yeah. and a nugget. Nice. With the lo- and then he ordered it from the wrong restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. He ordered it on Broadway, on Broadway, <laughs> <laughs> on Broadway <laughs> which was about six kilometers <laughs> that way, unfortunately. Um, anyway, so we ordered it and then we waited and it was a funny little KFC smack bang in the middle of Sydney City. Yeah. Yeah. This is like the worst 2 a.m. Wednesday night or something crazy. Right? It wasn't Ooh. quite that late. Ooh. It was a Friday night. We were watching the footy. It was about 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so then we waited, 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 got the order, and I was like, oh, bloody keen to tuck into this good bit of KFC, a bit of the kernel. And we <laughs> walk all the way up to the 13th floor, go into our room, sit down. I'm glad to tuck in, grab a few chippies. Got to start the meal off with a big <laughs> 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 chip. Go on, it's And with then those I, delicious herbs and spices. And then I lick my fingers like this. Finger like a go. Oh, nice. And then I dip in. Where'd to you grab, put them? To grab my slider. Yep. <laughs> Jake's in the shower. <laughs> I can watch him. <laughs> We're making eye contact. <laughs> I grab my slider. I unpeel the slider. Take a bite, and I'm like, "Oh, a bite with no chicken in it. That's annoying. Tough, especially when the sliders they're quite small." And then I wrapped a little bit more. Took another big bite. So I was about halfway through the slider at this point, and then I realized there's no chicken in this fucking slider. No chicken in the slider. No so all I've got slider. is bread, lettuce, and sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Which is <laughs> Which is disgusting. Nice. And I um, and I'm like, oh well, you know, they must have forgot that one. So then I reach in to grab the second one, I open it up, no chicken again, spewing, no, spewing, no. and I'm actually destroyed. And I'm always like, if I get the wrong order, it's alright. I just leave it. I eat what I've got, <laughs> and I finish the day. <laughs> yeah, <It's a> <laughs> yeah. I'm like the opposite of that. Ebbs and flows, you know. You go up and down. You got to take the wins with the yep, losses. Yep, but yep. there's way less wins. It's not like they're ever putting like three pieces of chicken in your slider. Yeah, well, well, you <laughs> boy can dream. But but anyway, so I had one empty slider, and I left the other one because I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna need evidence. I can't just go down there and claim this. Yeah, yeah. So I went down, and then I told the lady, I was like, all right. You didn't get me chicken in my slider. And she was like, what do you mean? <laughs> and I was like, I know, right? Pretty weird thing for you to do. <laughs> and then she opened it up and she was like, oh, wow, we didn't give you chicken in your slider. So then I was like, all right. So. Did you quick at her? And then she was like. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> so she yelled out to the kitchen. And she was like, one more slider. And I was like, no, no, I ordered two. And you didn't give me two. And she was like, all right. And then so she got me two and then she gave them to me. And I was like, now my chips are cold. Can I get hot chips? And she was like, yeah, here you go. Got hot chips. I was bloody stoked. There you go. We're playing the system. I like it. And then we takes confidence. Takes balls. Takes big cojones <laughs> to do what you've just done there, boy. Oh, uh, yeah. I was inspired by you in the shower. And they, yeah, I exactly. I saw those right. cojones. Well, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> that level of guts definitely reminded me of you, Sharon, <laughs> with those big cojones. I knew you had them in you. <laughs> You guys done? <laughs> Far away. And then we were leaving the shop. I went down to accompany Riley on his fantastic KFC journey. And I was there and I saw her with the whole thing. And you're probably thinking, this doesn't sound like a hero tale, does it? Yeah, does it? No, it doesn't. And that's where I step in. Oh, you're the hero. No, I'm telling the hero. It's tale. <laughs> no, no. That's my job. So as we left... We walked past. We w- walked out of the KFC. I'm waiting for Joe to tell the story completely <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah, cool. That's really good. And as we left, right? Didn't. Now I've got a. It's got to be a record. We, we walked into Macca's, remember? Yeah, we went into Macca's because I had an order. It was a McDonald's next door, basically two two blocks down. And was it? As That's not a block. Was <laughs> it? <laughs> sounds like two stores. stores. <laughs> two stores. <laughs> two Lego <laughs> blocks down. <laughs> <laughs> it was right next door. Um, and as we walked down, we saw the guy. No, okay. you walked <laughs> we, over. Were you there? <laughs> ja, we walked into the Maccas. And yeah, I'm, I'm telling the truth. We walked into the Maccas and then... <laughs> and then what happened? <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> and, and then we were in the Maccas, right? And the guy was there. Stop telling him like that. All right, so we walked into the Maccas and then Joe went up to the counter to collect his meal. And as So you had purchased Maccas? Yeah, on the app. 
Anyway, and then as he went up to collect his meal, this gentleman who appeared homeless walked past me and said, do you have any spare change? And I said, sorry, mate, I don't carry cash on me. <laughs> yeah. Do you do debit? <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> then, and he had a sign with him and he went around and asked the whole store. And I felt really bad because it was really rainy and wet in it Sydney. It was, it was. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this guy's really down in his luck and he just wants a few coins. Yeah, and he came up because he also asked me and I... Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> I was only carrying... <laughs> Put it early at hundreds. <laughs> You're such a fuckwit. You are such a fuckwit. <laughs> Joe stiff-armed him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think he'd be able to break. That's so fucking... <laughs> It's a lot of money. It is, it is. It's a lot of money. Full stop. <laughs> Play on. That's fine. <laughs> that's so fucked. <laughs> and then that's me. I leave it. He was so. Uh, now I finally got my food because it took a while for me to eat up my toast. <laughs> You're getting a toast, Steve. <laughs> You got a toast. <laughs> well, they don't have any other veg. Oh, mate, it took a while for him to work out how to fucking make a toasty. Oh, <laughs> well, I got like three Shit, do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. It's come up on the app and they've just gone, what the <laughs> fuck yeah. is that? Why is someone, why some can't order a fucking toasty? But as we were waiting the whole time, I watched him go, because it was a very busy Macca's, because it's Friday night in the city. So obviously it's going to be pumping. And I watched him go to like every single person in the store and ask for coins and no one had any. And then as we left, um, we're walking off to re- heading to the lights to cross the road and then yes. head back to our uh, our accommodation. Yes. And then at this point, the man was still walking down the street and this is when the hero occurred. There was a young man that day who had been disappointed himself. Virginia boy. Yeah. <laughs> and he was able to turn his disappointment into a lovely, lovely warm meal. I hope you didn't give him. For the homeless I hope you didn't give him just bread, <laughs> lettuce, and sauce. No, no. Riley took <laughs> one of his sliders. Yeah, yeah. And he passed it on. Oh, that's man. very nice. Because <laughs> yeah. you have this. And what did he say? I just ran out because he was walking down the street now, and like no one gave him cash. So then I turned around and I was still watching him. And then I just ran down and said, "Here you go, brother." And just handed it to him. And he's like, "Thanks." What a dude. So I gave him half his dinner. You fed the man. You fed the <laughs> yeah. homeless man. And then I walked back to Joe and I was like, fuck her, has chicken in. Oh, that's such a good. That's such a. Knowing full well that the, K- the KFC employee probably spat in it. <laughs> <laughs> you went, I don't want anything to do with that. No, but yeah. it was, I mean, the guy, it was, it was a cold night. He's in the restaurant looking for money for food and Riley was able to give him that food. There you go. We love it. Congratulations. Lovely, well done, and Riley. A, as we mentioned, it was a lovely, delicious zing of cider from our friends, the Colonel. <laughs> there you go. We absolutely love to hear it. I'm indicted into the bloody Hall of Fame. So this week's episode Bravo. 196. It took a while to get there, but we're awarding this week's every hero. <laughs> they say it right. We're, we're awarding only get one chance this, this week's yeah, yeah. everyday hero. There it is. To the baby brother of the pack, the KFC loving kid himself, Junior Boy. Alrighty, boys, that just about brings us to the end of another episode of the podcast. Riley, you wanted to discuss a few things? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. no, no, no. Oh, who's your team? Who's oh. your team? Forexer. Oh. Brothers at all. Oh, these are actually the Queensland mob. I Who are you supporting? I'm a big blues. I'm a New South Wales cat these days. I'm a Sydney rat. It's so state of origin. Who are the choices? The origin. New the South Oregon. Wales or Queensland. Okay, there Queen, you go. I'm going to be a, a Queensland rat myself. You're a bloody burgundy. Yep. I'm wearing the burgundy, but I feel like I'm a blue in the heart. Yeah, yep. I could be a blue in the heart. All right, cool, sure. boys. Thanks so much for doing that. Um, What we wanted to announce here... <laughs> Thanks for that we're playing in the next game. Game. <laughs> Thanks for padding. Um, very exciting. We it will already be out and about by Ooh. now. We hope, as long as our graphic designer, yes, that yeah. old yeah. graphic design genius, the graphic design genius, has put together the respective graphics. Um, exciting. We our good friends at the WA Comedy Group Comedy yes. Festival. So they're going with the Comedy WA Festival. Comedy Week. Week. They Although are next gen. Next gen comedy. Next gen comedy. This is, is another venture. Is the <laughs> latest. Thing that the squad are doing yeah, It's so basically it's like a final series So imagine l- Similar to your little it's rugby like game a Battle of the Bears Battle yes. of the Comedies 
So over the next four weeks, or it's going to be over five weeks, but there's four heats of yep. stand-up comedians. There's 32 of them, all from... <coughs> are they all from? <laughs> or all in. Or all, all making their trip over to WA. There's 32 of them. They're coming over and they are going to do their best five minutes across four separate heats with the grand final seeing eight separate comedians battle for $1,500, which Fantastic. is quite exciting. So two indeed. from every heat. You'd imagine that so. That is a lot of pressure. Um, so we so here ha- have been given the opportunity to give our fans some love. Yes. We have currently two tickets to each heat <gasps> available to win via our Instagram and via our Facebook pages. The two tickets will not go. You won't get two tickets for every week. You'll get two tickets and then we'll de- dedicate a date. and we'll go, that's the date you're going. Then we'll give two tickets away to someone else and go, that's the date you're going. That's how it's going to work. And they take place over four or five weeks, right? Four weeks. Yeah, these ones are all going to take place over four weeks. Huge. Um, which is very exciting Fair indeed. Uh, there'll be more information on our Instagram. It's probably already there. If you haven't already seen it, go check it out. All you need to do is literally like the post. Make sure you're following us on Instagram or on Facebook and tag one friend that you would take with you to go and watch some live comedy in Perth over the next And if you've never weeks. seen stand-up comedy before, it's kind of the perfect thing. A bunch of people's best five minutes. Oh. 100%. Yeah, it's exactly. free. And it's you get free. to vote on who wins, right? It's, it's, I'm oh, yeah. sure it goes by... It's audience yes. choice. Good point. Audience choice. Good applause. point. You're actually involved Ooh. in deciding who wins. You can shape the, the future of WA comedy. At the end of yeah, the respective set, you go up, you vote who you think was the best on, and they will potentially... Move on to the next week or wow. to the next heat. So you could like um, have a, a horse in the race. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. That's we, cool. We will be taking birds. Potentially. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, very exciting. If you haven't already seen it, go to Instagram, tag a mate that you would take to comedy. Every person you tag gets you a separate entry. So we want to see as many people enter as possible because the comedy the comedy's good. We've met yeah, a handful of these people. Yeah, if we we'll haven't seen them. Yeah, if we haven't actually spoken clubs. to them on the podcast, it's a few people who we had on a couple of years ago. Yep. And if we haven't already spoken to them, we are well and truly aware of them. Um, and we've watched them. We've paid to go and see them do stuff yep. at Oasis and whatnot over the gym. Yeah, you can get it for free by entering this very simple competition. Exactly right. Anything else to add, boys? Support local. Support WA. Support comedy. Oh, I like yeah. it. Look yeah. at that. Look at that. I love it. That's it. Good stuff. Yeah, if you want to enter lots of times, you could do that at plus Gmail. (laughs) There you go. We love it. Boys, until we do this this time next week, stay safe, stay blessed, and always remember to go give your mama. It's Jeff and our butt off. Butt off.